Hello guys, back again, and this time around we're talking about Resident Evil. So basically, a Resident Evil uh, news has just came out, the Resident Evil TV series is currently in the works. Now what they're doing, uh, the production company, uh, basically, of Constantine Films, uh, is, who are currently only working on this, but are also working on, uh, like, film and TV movies, TV spins off, for example, uh, based on books like The Mortal Instrument and Perfume, but uh, they basically want to turn Resident Evil franchise into a TV series. Now, they're not even for the series to come out until after the next feature film, which is Resident Evil, the, the final chapter. The final Resident Evil movie is finally coming out. Uh, filming begins uh, in summer of 2015 for that movie. So this TV series is down the road. But it's interesting to see how they're going to do this. Now, the question will be, does this take place after the movie or is this going to be like is this Resident Evil going to be like the world that was the movies have have made or is this going to be simply its own world its own reboot of it this is where Resident Evil when it comes to a media form is going here forward that's the question with this if it's based on the film a film has covered a lot uh, obviously Resident Evil has a long history along you know with the games and so much different stuff that the films haven't covered but what are they going to do? Is it the same world? Because the same world, where does this timeline fit in with the movies, right? Does it fit before the movie started? Are they going to jump around where the movies were? Is it after? I mean, there's a lot of questions with what they're going to do with this. Do they want to just, okay, the movie's happened, you know, does Capcom and, and this production company said, this is how we want to go with it moving forward. What type of TV series are they going to do it? Are they going to, I mean, it, you, you mimic what's successful, right? So you're doing a horror game. Are you going to mimic this somewhat of The Walking Dead? But in a sense, not, right? I mean, this is Red Evil, so there is a world. People are expecting certain things. What characters are you going to have? Are you going to do the popular characters from the video game? Granted, if you do that, you better get the characters right. You know, it's funny because when they do things like this, I one hand of me wants to do the characters that I know from the games, but the other hand wants me for them to do something completely different with different characters. Because they do with different characters, that gives them much more freedom than if they do the characters you know. Because you know these characters, you know what their history, you know what they've done, they better get that right. Because fans aren't, they're just not going to, I mean, with Walking Dead, for example, the comic book and the TV series are different. Like, there are little differences, right? The, in the comic book, the baby uh, didn't survive, right? Uh, where the, the mother died and the baby died. Where in The Walking Dead, you know, Carl's brother, the little baby, bro little baby, uh, you know, brother or sister, I think it's his brother, basically doesn't die in the show, but dies when the mother dies in the comic book. So they, they can do that, I think, with comic book, because most people haven't read the comic book who watched the show. But when you're talking... Most people jumped on board with the comic book after the shows come out. But when you're talking video games, and now movies, there's a certain precedent already set. What do you do? Again, hopefully Capcom's involved heavily. Hopefully Capcom's, you know, setting the directions. I think one of the biggest things to do, which, when it comes to funny video games and, like, media, like TV and movies... You would want to, you think you'd want to keep all the, the, you know, the timeline straight. Like, okay, for example, let's talk Transformers. The, the comic books and the TV series are in conjunction. The movies are not, obviously. The movies are a separate thing. They don't, they don't consider those movies the official timeline, so they're not a part of it. So if Capcom did something like that, they might be all right. But even then... There's certain expectations with characters. You have to get those right. So what do you think about the new series? Again, I'm optimistic. It just depends on what, what kind of... If they go super low budget, you know, it's all about the characters and, you know, the show, right? Well, what, why do people watch, like, when you talk horror, you got to always do Walking Dead. Why do people watch Walking Dead? Because the characters in the world they're in. Resident Evil would have to do the same thing. Anyway... Love to hear your guys' opinions on it. Are you excited for the TV series? 
or or you like me, or you're like, you know what, I'm just going to sit and wait. Wait till there's an actual, like, some kind of trailer for it, or more news to see what's going on, you know. I'm not excited or disappointed, I'm right now just like, wait and see. Or are you completely excited because you love Resident Evil, and this is going to give you more Resident Evil to devour. Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching, and I'll make another video soon. Later.